Hello and welcome to this short video having a look at the price tip ladder for spread betting in a bit more detail. We can see here I've got an order ticket for the US 30 up here. I've got a price to sell on the left and a price to, to buy on the right. And it's what we call the level one price. As you can see, the level one price is always consistent with doing lower trade sizes. As you want to do a larger trade size, for example, if I'm doing the US 30 and I want to do 400 pounds a point and hit return, you can see there that has changed from level one to level six and I'm actually paying a slightly wider spread. Spread. Now the reason for that is that the price step ladder system was created to allow larger uh, position traders to transact quite big positions in just one trade. And as you can see there, this is updating all the time based on what's happening on the underlying market liquidity. And uh, in this particular example, I can do up to £630 a point on the US 30 in one transaction. Now, matter of fact, if I just push that to the top end of the limit right there, you can see the spread there has changed again. Level 10, I'd be paying a spread of 4.7, you know, 4.8, but I'd be able to transact uh, a position with almost a 10 million pounds notional value in just one go, okay? And um, you actually can see here that our level one price will allow you to do up to, a hundred. in this particular example, because of the underlying market liquidity, we can do up a to do 189 pounds a point utilizing a spread, our lowest spread of 1.4. So essentially, this feature is uh, it's kind of specific. If you're a large position trader and you want to transact in one, in one go without having to do multiple transactions, obviously the price can move quite a lot. If you want to ensure that you're getting the best possible price to do one, one, one large trade, the price depth ladder is the way to do to do it. And effectively, this will, this will update real time um, depending on what value you actually put into this area right here. So if I close the price depth ladder for a second, uh, one thing you might notice as well, if I access the limit orders or stop entry orders, the value that you put in here uh, is actually always relevant to the level one price being the trigger. Because obviously you don't know what the underlying market liquidity is going to be like to be able to see exactly what spread you're going to get at that point. So we'll always show uh, your level one prices right here. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. So if I stick to my market order, for example, I'm going to do a trade at £300 a point. Uh, hopefully I should have enough margin to be able to place this trade. As you can see, it's been executed like so. I'm going to then go up to my uh, account area, have a look at my position tab. And as you can see, we've got that running in real time. We've got the, the product, the stake size, the price and everything else. And if I actually want to go ahead and see that in my history to see exactly how far down the ladder I got executed, because this is the price that we got, all you have to do is uh, simply go to your history, like so. You can see the trade right here. And then along the top right here, you've got an additional icon, which will allow you to view additional information. And uh, that there will give you basically all the stamp templates of everything uh, as it was triggered, your order ID, your bet number, uh, your stake size, your price, everything else like that. And you can see that I got, um, I got traded at the level five debt price on the price debt ladder. And you can get all the information that you can possibly want directly from this screen. And that's how easy it is to get to grips with the price debt ladder.